I'm done. I'm fried. <sighs> Pressure of doing the show. It just went on and on and on. Weighed down on me. Drove me to an addiction. Said lychees and goji berries. And then Judd Apatow got me in his movie. <laughs> they will get to death as people. Hollywood man. They will kill you. Then there was this documentary. 20 years. At least half that. Interviews. Performances. For what? I'm fried. It's over. I got nothing in the tank. So I'm handing it over to my good friend, Alan Purvey. He's not really my good friend, he's a fucking idiot, but he has got a good rug. I always admire a man with a strong hairpiece. So that's it, I'm handing it over to him. The show within the show. He calls it. <laughs> he calls it marvelous, isn't it? The Alan Burvey show. Because he's an idiot. That's all I gotta say. Stop following me. I said, will you stop bloody following me? show. Well, what a show we've got for you, ladies and gentlemen. All a bit last minute because of, uh, you know, Graham's a bit of an illness or something he's got there. Anyway, we've got one guest all the way from England, bloke named Brian Porker, apparently, runs a Graham Parker in the Rumour tribute band called Brian Porker and the Surrey Puma. I know, sounds unlikely, but here he is. Let's have a word with him. Brian, how are you doing? How are you liking America, mate? You like it? Pickles. Do go on. I like the pickles. Whenever I go into one of the uh, dinners, they spell it with one end, must be the American spelling, but a glorified cafe really. I goes in there and I orders me egg and chips, a few french fries, same thing, you know, normal food, and they gives me a pickle. I looked on the bill, they're not charging for them, and everyone gets one. I'm quite getting to like them. It's like a cucumber affair, I think. It comes comes out of a bottle, though. It comes out of a big jar. I think that's it, anyway. So, uh, Brian, wh where are you? Where are you from then? What what part of the country are you from? Well, I'm from a little hamlet. It doesn't even have a name. Quite near Westbury on Trim in Somerset. Not far from Bristol. And a Western Supermare. And how did you get into this tribute band, Lark, then? What's that all about? And why, why Graham Parker? Why, why him? Well, my dad, he went to see Graham Parker and the Rumour in 1977 at the Colston Hall in Bristol. 
and he was he wasn't too young then he said he was the oldest bloke in there actually but he saw the band and he he, he just caught the bug and when he died not long ago I was looking through his vinyl collection. I found the Graham Parker and the Rumour albums, all four of them and the live one, Parker Rilla, five. And I fell in love with it. I, I caught the bug as well. So I learned all the songs. I loved it. I did. Uh, so I got some blokes together and we formed a, a tribute band. Now I'd go down the local pub, the Fighting Stokes, and I'd say, I'm mad for this Graham Parker. You, you must know if you heard of him. They say, Brian Porker, never heard of it, must be rubbish. They're bloody idiots, aren't they? They're all, you know, yokels, really. So anyway, I, I talked to the landlord, can we put them on in a saloon bar? He said, all right, we give it a bash. So we put the band on, the tribute band, playing, on, and they're quite getting to like it, although they still say, oh, well, we've still never heard of it, must be rubbish. But well, it, but I, so I called it Brian Porker because that's what they thought his name was. And the Surrey Puma. Now that's because I learned a little arcane fact about uh, Graham Parker. He likes cryptozoology, the study of hidden creatures. And there used to be a Surrey Puma sighted when he was a boy in Surrey. Most of the blokes who saw it were drunk, mind you, but there it was. That's why we called it Brian Porker and the Surrey Puma. So, obviously your real name isn't Brian Porker. What is your real name? Reg Cheeseman. Reg Cheeseman. And before I got into Graham Parker and the rumour music, I was uh, more Shetland I was into, the folk. Yeah. Hey nonny nonny, hey nonny nonny, like that, sort of unison. All right, so... So, uh, you know about... Graham's books, don't you? Carp Fishing on Valium and The Other Life of Brian. The character is Brian Porker. You must have read them then. He's written books, has he? No. No, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Oh, anyway. You didn't, you didn't know about his books. <laughs> so what about uh, some of the mid-period stuff? Struck by lightning deep cut to nowhere, all this kind of stuff. And of, of course, the new one, you know, three chords good. So do you do any of that? Do you cover any of those songs? He's done other records after the the, the ones with the rumour, is he? Oh, all right. <laughs> Surprises me. I didn't know, no. <laughs> you mean you really only do know about his first four albums? You don't know about the, his new record? You don't know he's got a new record out? How can you not know? You just don't know, do you? Well, I, we've got a bit of a treat, I believe. You can play You Can't Be Too Strong, one of Parker's greatest hits. Let's have a bit of that then. Lovely, marvellous. Well, here it is then. It's him. It's Brian Porker. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. He's doing Can't Be Too Strong. Check it out. Over to you. Brian, Reg Cheeseman. Well, thank you very much. I'd love to play some. And I want to say thank you from, from all the lads at the Fighting Stoats and from the band, the Surrey Puma. We'd like to come and play in America. So here's a little taste of... Uh, Graham Parker song here, one of his big ones this one is, Can't Be Too Strong they call this one, here we go. And they tear it out with talons of steel and gave them the shot and then he couldn't feel they washed that away and then it wasn't real. You can't be too strong.
sounds just like him. Well, thank you for watching. Marvellous, isn't it? The Alan Purvey Show. The show within a show. Now, I've just been unceremoniously chucked off the premises because I hear his nibs back on top. Let's hand it over to him then. Yeah, this is some alibi I cooked. Looks all right, it's gonna be good, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's me, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, baby. Bit of doldrums there. I went all American for a bit. Addicted to health food, it's over now. I'd like to thank uh, Alan Purvey for his show within a show. Marvellous, in it. The Alan Purvey show, did a good job, I reckon. But now it's all back to me, this is my show. I'm doing what I do best, which is interview celebrities. And I've got one of the biggest in the world for you. Would I lie to you, missus? That is if you like football, otherwise you won't really care. But everybody does. If you don't, there's something bloody wrong with you, right? I mean proper football, you know. Anyway, I'm back being what I am, which is apparently a sociopath. I don't know what that means, but that's what the doctors tell me. I think it means like sociable, nice bloke. So I'll see you on Sunglasses, episode four, next week. Well, it might not be next week, maybe five years time, or whatever. Is the celebrity interview. Ta'a mushti. And thanks a lot. And why not? Right, I'm here in the... <laughs> Sheraton Universal City and I'm on the hunt for celebrities. I think um, if I tell someone that I'm working on a Judd Apatow movie they're bound to want to have a few words with me, aren't they? Sure, they'd be interested in that. I've seen a few walking around but there's uh, doesn't seem to be anyone around at the moment. Maybe I'll get lucky if I just keep... Oh my God. Oh Oh shit, it's David Beckham. Okay, he's there, okay. All right, let's go and have a few words. Wish me luck. Uh, David, Mr. Beckham, hello. Um, my name's Graham Parker, I'm working on a Judd Apatow movie. Uh, I wondered if I could uh, have a few words with you. Well, Brian, I kicked the ball and it went into the back of the net. Did it, yes, it did really good. That's great, there, there it is, there's the ball, fantastic. Um, and do you think they'll consider you for the, the World Cup, the next World Cup? I think you'll, you, if you're fit enough, I, th I still think you've got it in you. Do you think they'll ask you? Well, Brian, I'd like to work with children when I retire. Is that right? That's marvellous. Thank you, David. Okay, well, I'm going to go and see if I can find somebody more interesting. Great to meet you, man. <laughs> Take care. Bloody hell, that was funny, wasn't it? It's a funny bugger. No one else around. A woman in red, don't know who she is. Porcola. Sunglasses, episode three, was brought to you by Porcola. Half pig, half chocolate. I like it myself. <laughs>